G'day guys, Jeremy from TACMED Australia. Today I'm just going to run you through uh, a little bit on wound packing and why we wound pack. Again, I'm just going to use my trusty whiteboard here. I'm going to keep it simple and hope you can understand uh, why we wound pack if you're, if you're not really uh, in the know. Alright, so it's really important to note, like to understand that hemorrhage control is about pressure and not absorption. Okay, so if we have, uh, just you're going to have to use your imagination, you're really going to have to use your imagination here. But if we have a, uh, let's say this is a, uh, a leg, and we've got a large wound, okay? Let's say John was no good with a chainsaw, and the chainsaw's gone into his leg. All right, our blood vessels are running through here, and the chainsaw's cut it, okay? So that's gonna fill with blood, okay? Blood's gonna be profusely pouring out of that limb. So if we were to place if we were to place a trauma dressing directly over that wound, okay, you're going to put some pressure, the bleeding site's down here, okay, that wound's going to continue to bleed, continue to bleed until it's saturated that dressing, okay. That dressing is going to be absorbing blood. So what we need to do, so what we need to do is we need to place direct pressure on that bleeding vessel. And to do that, we're gonna use either packing gauze, quick clot, seal lock, some form of hemostatic, ideally. Uh, if not, anything like a roller bandage can be used for packing, uh, packing wounds really well. So when we pack our wounds, we're gonna pack deep into that wound to where the bleeding site is, and we're gonna keep it nice and firm, okay? We're gonna pack all that gauze in there, and that's gonna fill that cavity, okay? Nice and firm, okay? We're gonna do it so there's a mound above the wound, Okay, and if the pressure is nice and tight, and that's applying pressure down onto that vessel where it needs to be. With all those fibers, we're gonna have all the clotting factors and platelets connect to those fibers. Hopefully that's gonna clot up and stop that bleed. From there, we can place our trauma dressing. Place the trauma dressing over top. Place that pressure down and wrap it, okay? So that's gonna be applying direct pressure down into the bleeding vessel um, that's causing all the dramas and not just putting a dressing on or a towel that's simply gonna absorb blood. Remember, hemorrhage control is about pressure and not absorption. So that's a little bit on why we, uh, we pack wounds. Uh, again, you can jump on our website. We've got another video that'll show you how to, uh, how to pack a wound. All right, thanks for watching.